I'm considering selling my 2024 Honda CRV Hybrid for this 2019 Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive. I considered the options of selling this to CarMax because I think it would get about 30. It may be better for me just to sell it on my own because uh, I'll get more money. It's going to take a little longer and I still owe 5k on it. Versus this vehicle, the trade-in value is about 19000 That would most likely pocket the rest. So I'll consider buying a brand new one, which would be super expensive. And I would have to... <laughs> I would have to figure out how to pay for it. I had this vehicle for about a year. I bought it in November. My first payment was December and I owe $5,000 on it. I pretty much been funneling all of the money that I've been making into this vehicle. Hindsight 2020, I probably should have been buying, you know, Bitcoin or crypto or Fidelity Bitcoin or something like that, I think. One of the other main reasons why I want to get this is because I think I could make a lot of videos and content on it. It reminds me of like a smartphone iPhone where people back in the days were for like educational purposes and experience for I have a dash cam in this, in this vehicle. If I switched over to this, I don't need to deal with the dash cam. Sadly, she got a brand new Model 3 standard one. It comes with a thumb drive. The key. My key fob, it has a battery in it. I wouldn't necessarily have to deal with this battery and a key fob because I would use my phone or a card to be able to open it. And the Honda, I have to push start the button versus this vehicle, you just stop on the brakes, the brakes, and it turns on. For turning it off, this vehicle, you have to turn it off. This vehicle, you just close the door and then you leave. And that's it. I do like the way this Honda ZRV looks because it's pretty nice. It's spacious. I could haul a lot of things in it. Technically, I could car camp in this vehicle. I think the cost of operations is higher. I don't have a house. That's one of the main reasons why I didn't buy a Tesla earlier. I saw this, this one YouTuber, he's selling these bulky batteries where you plug it in during the daytime uh, it would be able to charge the car a third of the battery with 240 volt and pretty much overnight I would be able to get 30% uh, of the power versus if I just use the 12 volt and also for this I could supercharge it it's probably not a good idea because it may or may not be good for the batteries for the Honda CRV, I already prepaid for maintenance for that car dock. I'm not sure if I could get money back and if I could possibly transfer it to the new owner when I do sell it. For this Tesla, I was looking up the warranty. It said that it had an 8 year warranty on the powertrain. This is out of the, the basic warranty because it's past like the 5 or 6 year 50,000 mile mark. I think the battery has about 120 miles until the battery runs out of warranty or 8 years, whatever comes first. This one, it's pretty similar to most likely around 8 years. This one's still under warranty because I only have 13,000 miles on it. This one, uh, after 6 years, you have to change the air conditioning. I would have to check out the, the cabin filter, AC filter on this to see if it's uh, filters need to be changed. I'm pretty sure this one it's coming up on a 15,000 mile mark. Most likely the air filter and the cabin filter would need to be changed out. 5,000 mile oil changes uh, for gas. The cost of operations is higher for this one. It's heavier. I do like the way the Honda looks over this stuff. Uh, and to learn about electric cars on the handles real good. The performance is real good. As you can see, Tesla has three cameras up top and my car, it only has one for the adaptive cruise. I have my dash cam. I would also have to figure out how to hardwire the unit and radar detector into here. I bought a mount. I saw some people mounting it on 
you know using a suction cup or they were using the rear view mirror to mount it or they would mount it on the screen there's a lot of options of what I could consider this vehicle still has the protective paint on it or the it has like a clear wrap just to protect the paint it has a little wear on the wheels how's the tread life one of the tires just got changed recently I would have liked this if this was blacked out and on this one too if it was blacked out it looked it would look way better this one that one's most likely the new one because this one has more wear it's a dual motor uh, the stronger motors in the back it also has tints on the, the wheels or uh, tints on the windows this vehicle comes to a stop and it puts on the brakes when I signal left or right there's a camera view for me to see versus having a look in the rear view mirror the sentry mode is pretty cool because it has multiple cameras around the body versus my Venture N2 Pro, it's inferior if you think about it because it only has up to three cameras. I don't have to install a Venture N2 Pro if I bought a Tesla because it already comes with the equipment and software. It's all built in. It also comes with a bigger screen. When you're backing up, you have a, a better view this it gives you the distance between you and the car when i was on autopilot well, sometimes it would slow down more than i would like it to when i shut it off it kind of jerked the wheel like that it's that's kind of strange for it to do that i think that i would have to learn how to use the system so that i'm not causing the errors as it's better for me to learn how to use it now so that i'm going into the future better user user experience as well it's still in reverse and my foot isn't on the brakes the car is holding it's on hold right now so I just push this button and then get out of the car and then boom that's it these are the windows one down one push down my Honda CRV is a little faster it's in the car though it still works that's how you get out of the vehicle I don't even have to turn the vehicle off. I just get out. I took off my seatbelt. I pushed the seat forward and the steering wheel up. Maybe it's because it's adjusted to the previous owner, current owner. And for my Honda CRV, when I turn the car off, I have to push the button and then the seat goes back. The steering wheel, it doesn't necessarily get raised. But the seat it goes back about maybe four inches it's enough room to get out of the car comfortably